Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Empire of Wix. Now, last time, we did that whole thing whereby we became a wee bit undead. We are an lich. We are immortal. We are sublime. We are the perfect specimen of, 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 you know, magical ingenuity and glorious depository of magic and baseness. Anyway, we're just, we're just gorgeous, right? You know, that, that undead flesh look, yeah, it's so in right now. And, uh, yeah, so my plan today is, uh, to use our newfound power and fuck the world, you know? Uh, I am trying to consider whether we become undead army. Oh, uh, I'm tempted. I am tempted. Like, we could stick around with these uh, Wexenard units, you know, this Ashen Thorn frickin' uh, guys. Which, I mean, they're pretty good. They're pre You know, you can't be sniffing at, uh, what's that, like, uh, 15 pips at Tech 19. You can't be sniffing at it. However, however, the idea of becoming undead army and turning my 1 million force limit into probably 2 million force limit is unironically pretty tempting. You've been told Undead Army is basically like playing Hoi 4. No, Undead Army is more like playing Victoria 2. And that is not a bad thing. I think uh, I think it's actually really cool. Basically, you don't lose morale. You know, your morale is infinite, which is uh, it's kind of cool. Um, and uh, yeah, you're just uh, you, you're just you're just able to roll people because you don't run out of people. It would mean my cannons don't retreat from the back rank, which is something that I absolutely despise about modern EU4. And I haven't actually got a mod on that changes that to the way I prefer it. It would also mean that, um, you know, I don't give a fuck about attrition. Um, supply, supply limit is like, who cares? You know, we take up less supply limit. We could just basically drown bastards in bodies upon bodies upon bodies. It'd be absolutely glorious. Uh, real talk, what is the decision you have that is Akizit Kingdom? Okay, so as Empire of Wix, we get a, a few decisions to establish personal unions beneath us. So, uh, Dostanorian Kingdom would be to release all of this as a personal union underneath me, and that's why I haven't full cored any of it, except apparently the borders, but uh, my mistake. Uh, we have the West Dameshead Duchy, which is, you know, this, this area here, I think. I assume. I don't know. I've only just started going over there. Uh, we have the Akizit Kingdom, which is basically this area down here. And then we've got the Hellenic Reach, which is the land up in the north. Um, so we're going to work on that. Sabellum is the best mod. I mean... Okay. I quite like Anbana, but you know. Different strokes and all that. Uh, so yeah, my plan... My plan is have a plan first of all we need we need a plan first of all and then we'll do something with that plan um i do not have any truce with Kovuria, so i think plan step a uh you know part one of my you know step five plan is to go conquer a little bit more of Kovuria. uh we have claims on basically everything they're not perma claims i have managed i i did all of those claims myself uh i don't think it's going to take more than like you know three ca uh, cannon armies. Uh, lag, please, please, please lag. Thank you. Uh, and then maybe this army can uh, occupy these. None of them have forts, so it's not a problem. All right, that's 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 an easy way of having a plan. I don't care about Mountain Shark. Another thing that we were doing is being over my gov cap by a crap ton. But we were also looking at expanded infrastructure, finding the 15 dev, and then, you know, doing this. If it's not a 15, then you make it 15, and then... Yeah, that, that, that's kind of what I was doing as well, I recall. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I last uh, looked at this save. Uh, 13? No, you're now 15. There we go. Boom. Then we basically got lots of extra buildings that we can build. 
Uh, 29, you might as well be 30. Oh, I ran out of admin points, never mind then. Is there a 7R mod? Yes, there is. Uh, there is, in fact, a 7R mod. We actually use it quite regularly. Uh, I will be using it uh, this Sunday. I am starting a new multiplayer over on Seb's server, and then on Wednesday, I'm going to be starting a new multiplayer on my own server. Uh, so we got multiplayers coming up with 7R. Definitely don't need to uh, worry about any of that. Yeah, we are so unbelievably flush with money and mana that we are in absolutely zero need to worry about anything. So, yeah, let's just go uh, Conquest. Uh, Sirenvar and Kugdir gonna help out. Um, I don't think I give a fuck about any of that. So, we'll just march upon their forts. Maybe I'll take another cannon stack. And just, uh, I don't know, invade the deep woods or something. What evil people do, isn't it? Invade deep woods? Uh, who am I going to be playing? Uh, as per usual, I will not be saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I never I never reveal until the day. Because uh, it's just, you know, a bad idea. It lets people make... Plans against you, and yeah, I don't want that. Don't want that. So uh, I won't be saying, but I think it is going to be fun. I also don't even know who I'm going to be playing on uh, bloody Sunday. I don't know who I'm going to be playing yet, um, but hopefully it's going to be fun, regardless. You can protect trade in Bay of Wines. You can do nothing. That's that done. I don't know, just in invade the deep woods more or something. Start of mass coal mine. Oh, this is the event. Of course, we had that event that was going to take 10 years. If we scroll down to, to mine coal here. Start of mass coal mining in 10 years. After a decade of cooperation between Wexnard mining barons, Giberti artificers and scientists and dwarven miners, we've managed to start mining large amounts of coal that will fuel our homes and industries. So I get innovativeness. Okay, we can still use that. Uh, Empire Wex gets Barry's Coal Mining Conglomerate, giving me 10 goods produced in my entire country. And I get coal... Which makes me the leader, leading producer of coal and the only one with trading in coal, which gives me another 10%. This, I mean, I mean, obviously we are not in, you know, any kind of problems with our in, uh, industry. But watch this 600. I think this is going to be in the 700s. I think it's going to be like 750. I think it's going to be about 750. Give, give it a month. Give, give it a little bit more than a month. Like, maybe I'm wrong. I went to 672. Okay, so we got 70 ducats out of it. There's trading in coal now. Is it going to go higher? Okay, maybe I was just completely inaccurate on my prediction. But at the end of the day... Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a good way of ending that sentence. <laughs> Um, so yeah, my coal, oh, where is it? Here's my button. My coal here in Iron Hill. I can't yet build furnace, but, you know, whatever. Uh, but we got everything else that we need to be building. Very cool. Uh, just arrived to hear about the game on Sunday. Is it Ambina? Yes, it will be Ambina. 80 click, 80, 80 ducats from a one button click. I mean, sure, it's just coming at a time where my income is infinite, so. I'm not, I'm not exactly, you know, super duper amazed or whatever. Uh, 12 to harsh treatment, that is perfect.
this means... Uh, 48 is still pretty high, but whatever. Uh, that means that I can put my absolutism up to a, f a bit higher. Where are my enemies? Shouldn't they have, like, you know, tried to fight back yet? Oh, I found my enemies. Have I tried Argosin yet? No, not yet. I I would be kind of tempted to do Argosin in the Sunday game, but I have already signed up. And I have not, um, I didn't put them down. It's always, like, because the, the, that game would be on Seb server. So, on the one hand, on the one hand, ha being a dwarf in Seb server would be fine because the game runs faster. Because there's not as many people in there. If the game runs faster, being a dwarf in the early game isn't as nightmarish. On the other hand, um, he has, uh, rules which, um are not great for people in the Serpent Spine, um, in that he basically lets Muhi do whatever the fuck he wants, which is also not not, a, not especially something I'm terribly interested in uh, experiencing. Anyway, we've got a thing here. Unholy multitudes of dark acolytes flock to the banners of the Empire of Wix and have raised a good question. Why does the esteemed Emperor Lothane V still cling to a state unsuited for such magical dominion? They suggest this shift in the power structure of the country, focusing on Lothane V, and of course, his magical subordinates. So, Megocracy, we will swap to, uh, we will become a Theocracy. Interesting. That is an interesting thought experiment. All power cost, Magister's influence. I kind of like all of that. But I want to keep integrated Magisterium. So what we're going to do is we're going to save. We're going to become a Theocracy. If I lose the integrated Magistocracy, or whatever the fuck they were called, then we are going to load again. No artifices. I'm already a Lich. We already have no artifices. So, right. Magocracy. Boom. Yeah, we've lost uh, Integrated Magisterium. So, we'll do debt. Isn't there a guy who plays in the Serpent Spine is a massive pain? Yeah. 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 Essentially, yeah. Let me see. I'm going to have a look, see if uh, he has signed up and what he has signed up as. Uh, he signed up as Greedy Grin, Amber Sniffer, Flung Head, and Marble Head. Wild. What a, what a, what a set of picks, my guy. So we, uh, we won't be, we won't be doing that. Oh, my game just crashed. No! Bastard face bastard. That is unfortunate. Oh, that is not the game. I'm, I started launching Shadow of War. That's not the game at all. Um. I need, can, we, can we close? Can we close? I need to... This is not the game. <laughs> All F4 is doing nothing. <laughs> this was an accident. We, we need to stop. I haven't played this yet. I, there better not be an opening cutscene. This is not what I wanted to... <laughs> no! No, spacebar, go away. Stop. Can I ult F4 now? Okay, now it works. <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right. Yeah. Right. 
let's launch the actual thing. But yeah, his uh, his choices are. It's strange because there are rules about picking not not picking two of the same area, but I I would argue that if you're picking four fucking goblins, uh, that kind of is the same shit. You know? I will... I would like to play Argods at some point, but I'm not sure when that point's gonna be. At the moment, my sign-ups for that game on Sunday are West Ham Orbitral Magisterium and Edu's Vecine. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. The seating isn't out yet. Could also just play it solo? Eh, maybe. It is, it is a World Conquest tag, or a Serpent Spine Conquest tag, as far as I'm aware. Full Spine Conquest. So, I don't know, maybe. Idea of a game that I might have, might have wanted to play, or a, a, um, a campaign idea for five people. So a smaller one would go a bit faster, um, somewhat co-op-y, but also like more of a challenge-y kind of, you know, I, I, war is fine. I um I wanted to do a game where all of the players were picking basically world conquesty tags or as close to it as possible, right? So, I would have somebody playing as excuse me, for example, Wex, right? They could play as Wex, unite the empire, do shit from there, whatever. Um then you'd have somebody playing in Escan, and they would either do uh, Corinta, not Corinta, uh, Castanor, or Black Domain. Um, then you would have somebody playing potentially something like either Jadari or Phoenix Empire. Um, go that sort of way. Then uh, you would have somebody playing as the Command. Uh, and then in the Serpent Spine, you would have somebody playing as maybe the, um, using the mod that gives you everybody's, um, ideas, or everybody's mission tree. Um, this is a mod that lets you do basically everything, which is, I think, kind of cool. Um, something like that. So that's kind of the idea that I've been kind of rolling around in my head for a bit. That's what I kind of want to do. Um... Command, a spine, a jad. I don't really give a fuck about all this. Maybe also adding in the uh, centaurs. And then an empire of Anbana. Like you could do, you could do a really fun campaign there with you know, like five people ish. Jad is more of a conquest tech than Phoenix Empire, while Phoenix Empire goes south, while Jad goes east and west. I mean, Phoenix Empire has gives the claims on everything up to Tian Lu, and you know all of South Sahel. So I I feel like it is it it is there. You know that that level of conquest is there. But anyway, let's unpause and hope we don't freaking die to crashing. I don't know what that was all about. Did I just march into the mountains and stack wipe a bitch? Hell yeah. My 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 guys, they are sublime. Is the institution spreading? It is slowly. I don't need buildings anymore. It's funny. They also, we know, we know, we need to come up with the answer to the question: 
Uh, do we go undead, Ami? That is an question that we need the answer to at some point. If they're using 7A, you don't really want to go Jad. I'm not thinking 7A for this. I'm thinking using this mod and having the um, uh, the Wex guy go with the um, the Empire route. I'm thinking using a mod that adds all of the things together. Um, 7A for command is just fucking stupid. We're not doing that at all. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I wasn't thinking 7A for this. Um, this idea. So yeah, that's my idea. I, if, I would need the right few people. I would need the the, the time to set it up and stuff. Um, but that's that's an idea that I've had rolling around in my head. And our Goldstone would be a tag that would fit pretty well in that system. Although for the dwarf, I I do think the best, the most fitting, uh, would be a um, Durham Blue Shield into uh. Amaldir, and then Amaldir forming Old Warov and doing all the missions. I think that would be really, really cool. In 7 out Jad lose their general... Yeah, no, the Jad gets heavy nerfs. Which is good, I think. It is good that they do that. No, I ain't shitting on 7 out here. I think it does a lot of good stuff, otherwise we wouldn't be using it. Surely you want to fuck off now, right? Good enough. Now we just wait until Cook Deer wants to piss off as well. Like, I have claims on everything, but, like, still, it's gonna take so many more wars! Is there anything I can do to get this higher? I still have things to take away from the nobles. If I get 10%... Like I said... <laughs> we'll take away increased levies. It's it's honestly it's so much. It's so not necessary right now. You can go deal with that. Still need to get rid of aristocratic uh, councils. Take all of Dostnor. Unfortunately, not. Not unless I can get this number big. Oh, mission. Let's go. I wasn't actually expecting one. Rediscover our brothers! We and the Aranese people, through our current identities may differ, have shared this land for centuries. Our histories and lineages intertwined since we first arrived in the borders as we adopted Temerian and Milcarissian practices. Similarly, many among the Aranese people have adopted Wexenard practices, either through constant contact or directly from Wexenard ancestors that migrated east during the White Pestilence. 
We should leverage the shared bonds and slowly assimilate the Aranese people to our ways while absorbing their practices within our culture as we deem fit. So, uh, Aranese provinces will adopt Wex culture. Nice. Um, that's quite a big block of bastards. Actually, Aranese up here as well. Let's uh, see. From the plains of Rotwall to the woods of Tuanen, or to the noisy neighbourhoods of Tellum, no corner of the Borderlands is devoid of Wexnard migrants. The Aranese are more than equipped to deal with them, as they are a culture formed by the mixing of Dostanorian, Dames Hedic, Havoric, Milkori, Wexnard, and Royal Sardi peoples, and have always been open to cultural differences and neighbours stemming from many corners of Kanor. Yet the Wexnards did not seek merely coexistence, but rather they sought to make Wexnard culture the dominant element in the borders, and sought to do so... Uh, by a double strategy of flooding the region with settlers, as well as appropriating cultural markers of Milkori and Aranese culture and transforming them into Wexenard markers. Arrogant as ever, the Wexenard thinks himself as being a better and more devout follower of Nurat than most ancient families in Seliande. To have had more ancient history than the Dames Hedic peoples, and to have a better wine drinker than the more uh, most nostalgic Royasadi. Despite this attitude, the Wexenards peacefully and slowly increase their numbers by assimilating more and more Aranese people, as the people of the borders can easily change to focusing and exalting one of their heritages to the other, depending on what's convenient to them in that moment, with most Aranese having at least some Wexenard ancestry. It's only time before Aranen becomes a relic of the past, and Wexenard culture in all of its facets becomes the dominant culture in the eastern borders. Hell yeah. Spread it. So coming down here, all provinces being Wexenard and 15 dev. Yeah, that's uh, doable. Uh, these are bloody gnolls, mate. Might as well just get rid of them myself. I don't think they were changing. So yeah, is there any way that we can get this number bigger? Before the end of the war. God, 15 is crazy. Come on, somebody try and rebel again. Ooh, hello. Ooh, there's another one. Let us, uh, I'm actually going to put up a, a poll. Where's the poll button? Menage poll. So, poll, we're going to have a new poll. Uh, undead army. I'll let this one go for 10 minutes, because I'm not in any rush with this. Alright, there's a poll up. I want to know what your thoughts are. Should we go Undead Army or not? I am not sure of the idea. Oh, nice. I just got given a CK3 Rods to Power bloody key. Very cool. Um... It is what it is. Lovely. Um... So, 107,000 ducks is fucking crazy. We are still in the process of trying to get this conquered. I need, I need more. I don't think we're going to be able to get all of it in one war, unfortunately. Because, like, this is still quite high amounts of dev. I don't think it's going to happen. Then the Empire of Ambanar root for Wex. I get why it's a thing, but it's rather annoying that M Expand Empire gives aggressive expansion. Oh, shit! Here we go. Revellians. Revellian Society was originally a group of intellectuals looking to reason and empiricism to discover the true nature of the world. With their research into the God Fragment decades ago, the Society eventually discovered that what they claim is a fundamental truth in the world, that there is only one God, and that the Precursor Elves stole magic from them, nearly killing them in the process. 
Uh, along with their rel uh, revelations, they have made themselves indispensable to the masses, uplifting them and caring for them when nations across Kanor have failed, and bringing hope to a populace that an omnipotent and caring god does exist, and they are good, which is a far cry from the dynastic squabbles and flawed personalities and beliefs of the Regent Court and Coronite faith. Adherents of this new faith call for their cousins to follow this new religion, and follow the whims of god, not the whims of kings. The rebellion society is no more, and in its place is the rebellion church. So every province uh, will become a rebellion. Uh, the lodges will convert to rebellion and be the seat of a veridical religion. And Wexhills changes to rebellion. Rebellion becomes a new state religion. I get missionary strength and maintenance cost. Uh, I, yeah, we are we are going to become rebellion. That's, we have been planning for this. Is there anything that I can do? With Macoronite-ness before that happens. Actually, there is something I can do, right? Is there any of these? Can I? Can I? Get give me give me that dev. Give me give me, give me that dev. <laughs> nice. Uh, and the borders as well. It is. Oh, oh I can't core it because I'm at war with somebody who owns a core there. Makes sense. Makes fucking sense. Anyway, the truth shall set you free. And uh, let's see how much of my land becomes Ravellian. Quite a fucking lot of it. Quite a lot of it. Very, very based. Anyway, we're going to propagate religion in Dostanek. Because uh, it's important. I could just do it everywhere, but, you know. Uh, Defender of the Faith, because it's basically free. Uh, you're all going to do your thing. Uh, 16,000 who embrace absolutely cheap as chips. A war wizard is burned to a crispy crisp by a faraway laser. Robotic labor is fueled by dames here in Greece. An ancient relic is deconstructed and finally understood. In short, scholars, engineers, philosophers, and inventors domesticate the magic of the world. Then they place these magics into items that anyone can use. All across the world, the Age of Artificery comes alive with a spark. For centuries, artificers have been seen as nothing but novelties. A strange little group of mages are employed only by gnomes and kobolds and goblins. But now, mass manufacturing and the scientific method take hold in Halan. Artificers become more powerful than anyone imagined. With dames tier, relics, ivory, porcelain, iron steel, mithril, and more, all traveling along sprawling new trade networks, inventions are created which shake magical societies to their core. The Empire of Wix must determine where it fits in this equation. Several possible approaches now present themselves. The first is to embrace artificery. It definitely isn't. Uh, stop all patronage of majors in our society and delve entirely into the science that we believe to be the future. Alternatively, we can reject the new art. Instead, wasting our surplus of dames tier and relics on some flighty vision of modernity, we can use these vital resources to empower our majors. Or finally, we can try to combine the virtues of both. We would invest par only partially into majors and partially into artificers, receiving the full benefits from neither, while also allowing them to coexist. We stand at a crossroads! Uh, we're no, we're a, we're a nation of majors, bro. We are, in fact. Not going to be doing that. Another temps of goods produced. Nice. I told you it'd go over 700. The ravioli women would like Aaron Thill to complete their mission. Fuck off! Absolute lunacy. 27 development. Glass. Frickin' gnomish glassworks. The Lothane Mage Academy. Nah, bro. Mr. Ravioli. Mrs. Ravioli, even. No. I will not gib clay, you prick. Wait, the Rebellion State is here now? I'm still gonna have to fucking conquer the bastards. Does that mean that I can now take more of Corvaria? I can take a little bit more of Corvaria. A tiny, smidgen, prickly bit more of Corvaria. I mean, that's cool. Oh yeah, rectorates and shit. Before you get friends, I need to conquer you. 
Look, I don't mind you existing. You just need to exist in an area that isn't, like, mine. Uh, what do I want to do with my mill points? <sighs> More harsh treatment? Yeah. If I had low legitimacy, what what's a way of getting some legitimacy? Like marry everybody. And then everything over. Now I got to fifty. Got to fifty is not bad. So now I still can't take any extra land. Mercenary Company, the Wardens of the Weak. Interesting. Thanks for giving us a choice, but haven't you heard our Emperor is a Lich? Exactly. How did the, uh, how's the vote going? Interesting. If you haven't voted, you should. Uh, we've read this already, but, you know. Oh, wait, Knoll's Gate? Bro, isn't Knoll's Gate a place that I've... Oh, no, that's here. And I am already culture converting. No need, brother. Livigate and Endersby. Bam, bam, me. Ah, oh, look at that spreading culture. Let's go. Beautiful. When you're trying to grant another 50 absolutism, you can accept particulars to everywhere, lower autonomy. Yeah, I'm aware. I am aware. It's a, a strat I've done before. It's just one that you kind of need to plan for. Come on. Nice. Lucky. Now, out of curiosity. Wait, they don't have cores here? Nice. Is Corvuria going to give some more land to the Rebellion State? Or are they going to pop out somewhere else? The deep devotion of the Rebellions is awakened to desire for independent state ruled by High Rectors of the Church, as we own the traditional birthplace of the High Rectorate. Large part of the population expressed support for the idea of such an establishment is now turned to Luthane for approval. Radisade? Where is Rasidiad? Rasidiad. Rasidiad. Oh, it's what I just now refuse. Go somewhere else. They don't exist yet. We'll keep clicking. Eventually they will exist. Oh, I'm being invaded to the north. That's funny. So, I'm curious. The High Rectorate here. I'll just pop one click in. Now I have it. No, wait, that's the wrong button. This is the Invested Sure button. Now I will be the next High Rector. Oh, wait, you exist again. Very cool. Rebellion State over here. I mean, I'll totally vassalize it and make it, uh, you know, make it my bitch. Fine by me.
All right, Corvair is almost all dealt with. All right, the vote is finished. What was the result? And I didn't see it. Viewer results. Uh, the poll, let the dead walk wins. Very well. What is this? Court and country. Absolutely. We need to do this. But I'm going to need more. I need to get rid of some of these things. Like monthly admin points. Temporarily. Up to 67, that's good. Do I have any particularists? I do. Yeah, because that decreases your absolutism by 10. Which sucks. But then you can do this. Which is enough to bring you to max. Perfect. Anyway, uh, question, not question, answer, uh, magic menu. Necromancy legendary. Undead army 2. Whether it be the recently deceased or dedicated charnel house, powerful necromancy can raise a vast army of undead servants capable of defeating and consuming any army on the battlefield. And we have done so. I think. Right? Did that work? No? Why is it, why, why... Oh, I don't have the admin points. <laughs> Still don't have the admin points. Now we'll do it. We are now Undead Army, which means, amongst other things, 10% um, morale of armies, 10% morale of navies, global manpower plus 150%, nice. Uh, infantry cost 50% cheaper, I uh, don't really care about that, land force limit 150%, uh, 75% less attrition, manpower recovery speed 10%, sailor recovery speed don't care, reinforce speed 300%, which is fucking crazy. Uh, disembark speed, apparently it's great, we land faster, okay. Uh, we take less morale when hits when losing ships. Uh, attrition for enemies plus 2, we take very little, read, 0 morale damage. However, we do less fire damage, we do less shock damage, our artillery are worse. We get less Merc manpower, we move slower, we drill slower, we get more unrest. But, at the end of the day, we now have a force limit of uh, 2 million. Which is kind of insane. We don't like these guys, though. So I think we make a new template. I mean, 50 infantry is cool and all, but how about 100? Like, what is my uh, supply limits now? They're like, uh, maybe 50 is fine. We'll just build a shit ton of 50 stacks. Building over a million corpses. Oh, the game do chug.
But now we don't lose, you know, morale. Separatist sentiment is interesting. Maybe we should have done this when we didn't have rebels everywhere. <laughs> a minor issue just just a minor one. Oh, we can enact another government reform uh no we are enacting all oh, right we have this to do army of halan is here which is just not gonna happen uh but what else we got land attrition minus 15 percent my land attrition by the way is currently at a sweet Negative 100%, so we take zero attrition, unless it's capped. I don't know if it's capped or not. Uh, but we can now take... What? What do we want? We don't have any special units, otherwise I'd take that, for sure. Um... Reinforce speed is funny. Supply limit is good as well. Don't care about boats. Drill gain? Oh, you mean the loss of... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, fuck it. That's fine. That'll do. I am losing a bunch of troops to, to you know... Not really looking where I'm going, but, you know, it is what it is. I love gaining morale in the middle of a battle. 152. Wasn't expecting it to be that high, I'm not going to lie. Kind of hard to keep track of everything, I'm not going to lie. Getting that stability back, hell yeah. Discover places, I don't really care, just whatever. Wix and Ad culture spreading more, love to see it. Legitimacy of my air question. No one cares about my air. Especially not me. Uh, do I have a proper army? There's one. For Amban cost. It's just so many troops. There's so many troops. Did we fuck up?
gonna be fine. You want to... You want me to name a general Mimsy the Undead Bastard. Wasn't planning on making a new general, but fuck it, why not? There you go. Is he any good? 4643, four, he's not terrible. We'll keep him. Back from dinner, didn't think you were able to get that much land from covering the peace deal. Uh, so, Corveria ended up spitting out uh, the Revelian state, so uh, we conquered them too. And now we're kind of just waiting until uh, all these troops are built so I can fucking deal with them because this is just an obscene amount of troops. Oh, I can upgrade this now. Nice. What does it give me? Dev cost in area, global, autonomy change, defensiveness. This is way less good than I have seen it before. Purchase and ability, I might as well just get that last one. Fuck it, we'll start a golden era as well. Not that it's necessary, but whatever. It is done. Alright, my max absolutism is now 75. Is there any more? Not any of there. But we got things like harsh treatments we can do. I don't know what I just did there. Core all, I think, is what I clicked. Fair enough. I do have a province that is sieged somewhere. Apparently. I don't see it, though. I want more boats. Transport me up, baby. Ooh, dev cost in my entire country for a little bit. Ten years. Nice. 
Where's the rebel this time? Don't know, can't see it. Still got 42 regiments to build. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Crazy numbers. I don't think, though, that anyone is going to want to join a coalition against me for the foreseeable future. Wait a minute. Cotton Country stopped. I need... Oh, I need to be at war and have low stability. Well, that's easy to do. That should start firing now. I'm gonna give myself one. That's going up to this is going up a four. Okay. I think court and country. I'm not gonna peace out in this war until we've got court and country done. How's long as truce with Tunger? Uh, 61. There was no CB them as well. Works and culture spreading again. Very nice, very cool, very sweet. So yeah, I need all of these lands to be 15 dev. Dev map mode is fucking useless for this. <laughs> I don't even know if that was the borders. They all still need to be Wexenard, but I mean, that's going to come in time. I think it is literally just waiting for it to be Wexenard now. I think it is all 15 dev. Or higher. Good news, printing press. Oh, there's 12. Was consolidation have ended? Good for them. Thirty, twenty-three, fifteen, twenty-three, fifteen, nineteen, fifteen, nineteen. Okay, it is just waiting for the culture conversions. Gonna be weird when the borders becomes Wexner, but there's still Aranese holdouts and Darvin's folly. Maybe. Probably, actually, yeah. Didn't even think of that. Alright, have all the troops finished being built? Now there's four dudes left. Then we can start, you know, fixing these armies that had quite a lot of people killed. You can merge with you.
Oh yes, a gold rush for 20,000 ducats. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, that furnace is tempting. Not gonna lie. But I also kind of want to keep doing these expanded infrastructures. No, no, why did I do that? I need to not have stability. Why did I do that? Foreign country still firing at four months. Okay, good. Still, still, okay, we're still fine. We're still fine. That was, that was, that was a silly click, but we're good. My lowest dev province is 15, so if I had just infinite amounts of admin points, I could, uh, I could, you know, do something with that. Alright, have all of the troops been finished? Five dudes, I think they're all over here. Because we're on the fucking coast. Except you, apparently. I had quite a few die to uh, issues. Oh, six maneuver, let's go. The encroachment of the Wexenard state and domains that have traditionally been dominated by regional aristocrats, local courts, or other interest groups has led to widespread resentment of the Emperor and the Wexkeep court. These court groups have now united and formed alliances to combat central authority. Today we received a number of objections to our latest tax decree, citing ancient rights and immoral conduct by the representatives of the Emperor. It's clear that continued attempts to strengthen our power will be obstructed at every opportunity. I am the fucking state! There's also, if we go down here, I am the state, like I said, but uh, isn't one of these like max absolutism? No, is that this? Yeah, max absolutism there. Did any of these give max absolutism? Yes. I'm going to do that. Ancient rights. The only thing that's ancient is me, because I'm a lich. I'm bringing lich them back. Yeah.
Yay. That's another vertical. Bum, ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 No, I missed it. Alright, caught his navy now. Mod you? No, this is your first time chatting, I'm not going to mod you. Thank you for the application, but at this time we will not be following forward with your request. Ah. Never seen it happen in the chat before. Me neither, to be honest. This is and first. <laughs> I don't know who you are. No, I'm not modding you. <laughs> Isle of a Drail has rebels. No. Actually, that's not too bad. Next stream, I'll mod you. Doubt it. I need you guys to peace out, and you're just not willing to right now, which is very annoying. Oh, also, now that I'm out of court and country, I can I can stab up. So, uh... Easy to be done.
Yes, more manpower. Seems like a reasonable idea. Super necessary as well. So, your boats are about to get smacked. Again. Now we'll go and take care of their boats again. Um, so in this war, basically, I need just Awardia, right? Uh, oh, restore Corveld. New Corveld needs to have 20 dev, be a core, and accept the culture. I mean, I could. It's not going to be my country for long. But yeah, I just need Awardia. So that is what I uh, require. I will take uh, Gem Isle as well, because funny. Um, more Wexenard culture spreading. We love to see it. Tunga itself has fallen. Love to see it. Like, who else? Oh, I'm at war with, like, all of that. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, Kavuri, you want to give me your land yet? Not quite. But yeah, I will have my first personal union after this war is ended. It's gonna be cute. Lose 403,000 manpower. Fine, I'm undead. They're not too troublesome. And I'll get what I want from uh, Tunger purely by the fact that uh, I will be able to, uh, what's it called? I fully occupy him. It doesn't matter that his friends are still in. He's about to be fully occupied, so... Uh... It is about to be GG. Yeah, his navy is completely dead now. There's a claim on Deshak. Gonna be quite handy for my future invasion. 
So these galleys kill them. These transports move them. And then these upgrade them. And you guys uh, protect trade bay wines. We're 100% on Corvaria now, so that is them completely gone. I don't need to core them up now. And now we simply must wait for this to be deemed acceptable. Maybe we could even just leave off Gem Isle. Let's make sure that is absolutely what we need. Yeah, that is what we need. I really don't want to be bothered marching all the way over there. We'll just wait. I mean, he, like I said, he's fully occupied. Will it just take what I need for Dosnor? Yeah. I really need a, a hotkey for expand infrastructure button. But I mean, that's a lot of expanded infrastructure. There's annoyingly one province in Bulwa with Awardi culture. Is that right? Mm, nope. Oh, this one. Akrad Till. Mm. I mean, I don't technically care about that, though. Not going to affect really anything. Somebody's taken the Diplotech already? Like, why? <laughs> yes, let me just gain 400,000 manpower for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to take what we need. I don't need to go any further. Oh, wow, this is now not just instantly changing. Anyway, more Wexenards. How is Wexenard culture doing? Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Holy fucking shit. What is this? The League of Anbancost. All right. Recent years have seen a number of new tax and no obligations put on many Wexenard cities and guilds. So far, we've received 
All what has been asked for, but our officials report an increasing dissatisfaction among them. Within the growing resistance to the Wex Keep edicts and taxes, the most powerful cities in the province of Ambercost are banded together around the mayor of Ambercost. They now demand their rights to levy their own taxes and privileges, to uphold their own laws, and have violently evicted our official from the area. I don't give a fuck. Orc soldiers of fortune. I don't give a fuck. Um, a much debated discussion on the nature of the afterlife and what it truly means to go to heaven or to hell has sparked fear across the nation. Many prominent revelians engage in this debate have made their own contradictory and inflammatory comments and the lack of agreement and clarity from even the most astute scholars of the Empire of Wex has caused worry for the common man. What is unraveling? What is unraveling knowledge? Is that something here? What is unraveling knowledge? Oh, that's here. Okay, so there's manpower recovery, missionary strength, unrest in rebellion provinces, improved relations, production efficiency. Over here we got prestige decay, rector influence, tolerance, scrutinization of aspects, sanctified artificery. I mean, we're going to be zealot then, aren't we? I have no idea what actually any of that I did. So oh, I can support. Well, support zealots. They use reform design system to trigger the Council of Trent debates. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. The Regent Court believes that when you die, you get judged by Nerat, and depending on if you've lived according to your patron deity's ideals, determines whether you go to hell. Serve penance in Nerat's armies against hell, or live your life in blissful paradise in your respective deity's divine plane. While the nature of the Infernal Plains and Nerat's Fugue Plane have been confirmed by countless accounts of demons bound in summoning circles and red reapers sighted hunting down undead, it is the nature of the Celestial Plains that has eluded most of the modern world until now. Great research and forays into planar binding have allowed the Rebellion Church to contact and communicate with a great number of celestial beings and have discerned that they too are just as lost as we are. Their beliefs and lore are just as diverse and shrouded in mystery as ours, but one thing persists throughout, that the equivalent of their founder or creator is dead, and that their origin myths all contain ancestral homeland that their race originated from. This revelation, combined with new transcripts from the God Fragment and cross-referencing commonalities of myth in our world's cultures and religions, have led to the conclusion that heaven exists, but its gates are closed, and a lo its location forgotten with the near death of the one God. The fugue plane exists, but not in the way we know it. Um, the gates are closed, what is this, the Seventh-day Adventists? It's not a demi-plane associated with the Shadow Plane, but it's instead a fugue domain, a political entity that exists within the Shadow Plane itself. There, the dead do get judged, not by Nerat, but by red-cloaked celestial angels of death. Not only that, but the powers of both the one, uh, the celestial and infernal ebb and flow due to belief in their creators. Since the belief in one god has faltered, so too is the powers of the celestials, explaining their absence in the Prime Material Plane. It is with this that the Revelian Church now believes more than ever that revealing the truth of a one God to the world is paramount, and by restoring faith in God, will uh, the heaven of gates of heaven open and salvation can be achieved by all, both mortal and celestial. The Revelian debate in question now lies on how do we achieve salvation and empower God in the first place. So, Zealot's conversion is but the first step. The Regent Court mythos of emulating your patron ideals is the truth. God is good and wants us to be good. We must perform good works for the Church ourselves and each other for truly to empower God. The erudite doctrine is true belief and understanding alone that empowers God. Not only knowing, but truly understanding the truth is what faith is made of, and as, as such, we can only achieve true salvation through ruminating on the truths that have been revealed before us. <sighs> okay. Debate that shit. Alright, tongue gear. Peace out, please, my dude. I own your capital, for fuck's sake. Yeah, what do I give a shit about an afterlife for? 
crazy talk. The peace is made. And now! Oh, right, we have this shit to worry about. Wait, he actually sieged it as well. That's rude. Can I have a... Yeah, get one of these guys to go over there. Deal with that. Anyway, and now... Dost knows an old Castanorian march, and while we're not interested in the land they once held, we will establish a puppet kingdom that will be loyal to us. So I get one merchant, uh, and some unrest reduction. The country will be called Wexanor. Yeah, okay, okay I, I can see it, I can see it. Hate the flag. The flag is vile. The flag is vile and and untenable. But anyway, Wex and Aura now exists. They love us. Beautiful. Support the loyalists, because uh yeah, probably should just do that anyway. Improve relations. And the merchant. We're going to pop in Gawed. Alright, Keterata. To fabricate a claim on an area, I need to get to 30.25, and you've already just caught me, so... Probably not happening. Uh, Tunger... Fucking, I don't know, just stand to your merchants, go fuck yourselves. Oh, right, my boat just got upgraded. Ah. Go to the island of Adrail because it's faster to upgrade from there. Wait, you're now at war with. Oh, Eka, again. lost. Excuse me, the effects of training in Dames Tier. Yeah, I do want these to be somewhat repaired before we go to battle. 51 into... yes. 10 a month, it's fine. Eighty's fine, sure. Anyway, declare war. I would like you to give me your land. Nice, took back Anban cost. Oh, there's a fort here. Baldwin has a decent siege. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Brother. Was there any need for the Corvarian Separatists? There you go, my guy will just deal with them. There we go, we now have a landing staging area. Beautiful. Quick snack culture spreading again. We've got a thing on my bulb. In Halesi, their lust for knowledge and power have managed to breach the vault of the enormous precursor temples that dot the landscape. News has reached us of their finds in the form of new and powerful objects in the open markets, coupled with rumors that deep within their temples lie even more potent artifacts. How this affects us remains to be seen. I'm sure nothing untoward will happen. Right? Clearly, there's nothing, nothing that could happen about this. Bloody hell. Do you not even, like, do you, like, not accept Corvurian or something? You do. Are you, you're a Revelian as well. At least there's that. Hey, Rise of a War Wizard. Mwah. Nice. You actually flipped Mystic Accord in your Dahui playthrough and got Spirit Military. See, when I did, um, when I did my attempt at becoming, uh, Undead, not, sorry, uh, Spirit Mill and stuff, I, I went Undead Army first, uh, which was a huge mistake, because that means, uh, you, you actually can't do anything. You can't become um, Spirit Mill if you already have become Lich and Undead Army and stuff. I kind of messed up. You know, maybe a gnomish hierarchy could also be in that um, full world conquesty thing, and they can just take all of this. I have no idea what Orenia Valalium's deal is, but maybe they could do something too. I don't know.
why are these guys like this is like the third war against Ecker, isn't it? Get around and wolf Ek in tribute. They just like keep breaking tribute or something. I don't know. Okay, they have an, uh, a large army here. Fuck it, we can go in. Oh, we don't have to. We can just wait. They're just sitting there, staring menacingly. Do I have another territorial army that is uh, able to deal with this? We just use the 50k stacks. I like that my colonies are coming to help as well. It's kind of cool. Next idea group coming up to decide what we want to take. How close are we to... Okay, we're at 74, even with the minus 20 from Court and Country, so we're totally fine. Court and Country will end after the 10 years is up. Time to die, bitches. Like, even... Though I have Undead Army, and obviously there is the, the quality difference there from... Undead Army is not the best quality, but I don't know. The, the quality that I'm getting from things like missions and other such nonsensory uh, means that my quality, even as Undead, is just still way better than what they can bring to bear. United Taichen tag? Yeah, I think so, too. Anyway, for Dushak, the Akasik. We also need to go after Eka, which is fine. This is going to be more than one war. Yeah, that's going to be the first war. Then I'm going to truce break him, I think. No, not the League of Isle of Redrail. The first rebellion debate focusing on the nature of heaven and hell and salvation has ended. Uh, cool. Excellent. Death is the great equalizer, even for the master of the arcane. During his usage of war magic, a stray bullet heads towards Lothain and is stopped by a dismissive wave of the hand. Look, I better, I better not fucking die here. Okay, I'm alive. One could have described me as worried there. Or an moment. Let's see if only half the army can uh, deal with this. All right, I need more cannons on all of my cannon stacks. Yeah, this is no, that's not it. This is uh, stupid. Like, 
Undead should not have this much quality. Build yourself up. Oh shit. So our culture spreading again. Very nice. We love to see it. And that is mission fulfilled. Once considered merely a frontier and a hinterland to the Danesetic core, it's now become a vibrant and thriving core of an empire second to none. Cities within this region flourish. Our people prosper and share in one shared culture and identity. Glory to Wex. Glory to Wex and our heartland. So, um, all of those regions get dev cost, autonomy change, province governing cost, prosperity growth. Lovely. Inherit markets, Dame's Crown needs to not exist. Okay, familiar planes, I need to go, yeah, I need to march north after this war. No NFL, I don't want to buy season <laughs> Yeah, I've I've heard of quite a few people getting like NFL ads, and I don't know why. I've I have zero interest in uh, whatever sport that is. Actually, I actually have no idea what sport that is, or someone can say. Yeah, just give me more manpower. Why not? I steal maps off you. Give me maps of Gaul. Lovely. Aha, there's a fort right here. It's, I, all right, American football, fair enough. It was something like that. It was along those lines. What do we take as our next idea group? Technically, it should be a Diplo group. I'm thinking diplomatic for a lowered impact on stability. I I'm just going to go with that. Fuck it. Diplo idea is probably the play here.
Maybe going on Dadami wasn't worth it. This is so many rebels. Ooh. Pretty decent general. Pretty decent indeed. I think in my peace deal, actually, what we're going to do is... I am going to... That's funny. That's going to be great. Uh, I am going to force him to break his alliances. Don't want to fight you anymore. All these guys apparently not allies. Yeah, it's only Vrkogulin he's allied with. So yeah, that's going to be my peace deal. And if Desha separatists are uh, going to you know, break his country apart, then uh, that's pretty good to me too. What are you? Are you a vassal? Yeah, you are. Okay. Should start learning the uh, magic required to, uh, what's called uh, take take sieges instantly. Don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Come on, accept the L. I mean, he still has boats, so he could technically still go deal with this shit, but... Yeah, I don't know. Be nice if he couldn't. It's not even functionally infinite, it, it just is infinite. Like, I can't lose 24,000 troops a month at this point. I'd love to know where his army is so I can go kill it. So he has no ability to go and deal with the rebels. At least I never have to worry about a bloody coalition again. I am far too large to give a shit about such trivial, mortal concerns. Oh, I'm also at war with Mohakar. Didn't even realize that. Ah, ba -ba -da -da. Oh, he'll accept. My guys killed the fucking rebels, which is hilarious. Good job, guys. Anyway. Ooh. 
Look at that lovely Wexenard Akasic. It's beautiful. Also, um, we, we are now we're con court and country. A period, widespread obstruction of authority in the province, provinces. Family come to an end. That's why we have handled the high crisis. Or shape the way local power structures interact with the government of Wexheap for the foreseeable future. Beautiful. The state is triumphant and we are absolutely beautiful. Oh, Dame's Crown is getting murdered by Northern League. Or Gawed. Same thing. Crazy how many allies this prick has. It's gonna take quite a bit to kill him. Anyway, truce break. How did Bro even have a fleet? Thought I'd have killed it all already. It's a simple case of economics. We need to go to war, and I like I don't want to core this land, right? I just want to give it to a new country. We're liberating it. It's a very, very big difference. Nothing we're doing is wrong. Lost a general, but it was none of those guys, so I don't really care. Curse and knowledge, hell yeah, we'll get some of that going. We get our final government reform, which is going to be uh I mean political absolutism seems pretty good. Yeah, we'll go political absolutism. I'll get that diplo reputation. Oh look at that. We're now on still a minus, but only minus three point six. You know, we're getting better. We are way more reputable than we were five minutes ago. It may be possible to reach zero dip. Yeah, probably.
Well, actually, you can stay here because we're about to attack Eka. Sobimofo. Some bitch wants more info. Men flock to the banners and I get 400,000 fucking troops. Crazy shit. Isn't there a fort down here? I don't know. No, I can now march all the way. I have captured the Keteratan flagship to go with my Dame's Crown one. Glorious. Merfolk again. Still no idea what the fuck that's going on there. Yeah, with these guys now, again, let me have a look at my Akasic Kingdom event. I want that, 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 that. Please let it fit in 100%. Shite! Oh, we're so close! We're so close! Fuck me. We're so close. So annoying how close that is. Oh, it's actually ridiculously annoying that I can't get it all in one go. There's no way I'm getting all of them. Too bloody expensive.
That might help, actually, funnily enough, now that one comes to think about it. Ah, oh, you fucking tit prick fuck shit balls. What is this called? Muashishi? Unrawu. Right, let's search for Unrawu. How close are we to Unrawu? 9%. Okay, okay, bitch. Alright, you sack of sweaty cabbage eaten testicles. That's just annoying. That might help. Does that help? It does help. Okay, we're good. We have once again proven our superiority in the matters of state and all of that. Uh, oh, did Mimsy die? Oh no. The ones that you create yourself, that you rename, have shorter lifespans than any others. This is a fact. It is known. Just give me what I want, what I really, really want. Just give me what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, really, really, really wanna form the kingdom of Askesic. Oh, and he gives me galley combat ability. Oh, look at that. Yes. Right. Delightful. I'm really looking forward to next Wednesday's game, I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be an absolute joy. It'll be so fun. Right, I forgot I had this. Like, fuck off. Something like that'll do. Come on, you know you want to. Only 20% left. I will siege all of your faces. I will shit in your cereal. I will dev, because I have nothing else to do with those points. <laughs> Not your cereal. Yes, your cereal, specifically. Okay, look at all those battles. Like you, you can't have mistaken the fact that you're dead. Like, you're you're not capable. You're simply not capable. You don't have the range. They uh, decided on one last hurrah and shoving all of their troops all the way in the north, ready to get stack wiped. It's, it's very funny.
No, 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 you don't get to run. I'll fight you in the mountains, I don't care. I'll stack wipe you in the mountains. It literally makes no difference. I already have the war goal. Uh, I assume they're running down here? But anyway, there's the war. I don't know, give me a little bit extra, because uh, you're a prick. Actually, don't give me a little extra. Give me, like, a, another province, or two provinces. Uh, two provinces. Ah. There we go. Oh, look at that name! Look at the spread of the name! It's beautiful. It's crossing oceans! Uh, anyway, who's your friend? Why do I... Why, why do you... Uh, ooh. Actually, that's not... The worst thing in the world. Because it would be fun to actually own that land. Anyway, I never have to go to war with Keterada again. Uh, if I don't want to. We do have some separatist sentiments, but, uh, yeah, we'll just have to deal with those. Quite simple, though. How, uh, overextended are we, anyway? Just a number. Just, uh, just, just a number. As we all know, numbers don't mean anything. Numbers are fake. Numbers don't exist. Anyone ever heard of a number before? It's crazy. Crazy concept. Holy shit. That is a lot of attrition I took coming down here. Please, uh... Yeah, get more troops back. That's good. And now you can dock. And now we're basically back up to full. And we cross over. New policies. I don't really need any of those, to be honest. I wonder how good zombies are at assaulting. I can't remember. Because we don't run out of... Yeah, fuck it. We'll just assault. We'll see what happens. I'd argue that that shows a very low probability of being good. If I didn't even see it and they all died. At least they uh, <laughs> reinforce really fast. Jesus Christ. Like, I don't understand. Like, is this, like, intended gameplay? That they are all just going to... flounder around and, and die to, you know, being sieged a thousand and one times.
Honestly, these guys we can just probably peace out. Uh, we'll, f we'll fight them another day. Or not. I mean, I do have to wait until your capital is sieged. Anyway, didn't actually want to fight this battle. But you will now piece me out. You can also give me an island. I'm thinking, you know, cloves are quite nice this time of every day of the week, because cloves are always amazing. But yeah, cloves for me. And then, apparently, you've got land down here, so you losing this ain't the end of the world. Apparently, it's certainly not the end of the world, because you're just going to give me it. Bro. Okay. I don't know where else you exist, but, you know, maybe here. You stay over here. That's fine by me. I lost 278, they lost 5k. I, I mean... Numbers are numbers at the end of the day. And at the end of that day, we form the Akasa Kingdom! To do. <laughs> okay then. You get the Akasa Crown to the end of the game, give me another Merchant Galley Combat ability. Very blessed. The Akasa Kingdom is formed! And then everything that I don't have cored, I can now core. Other than these two provinces that I'm going to grant to the Akazic Kingdom. Because you don't get core. I guess they're they only get the cores that I give them. So because I didn't have any cores, that's. Yeah, they don't, they don't get free cores. But I guess that makes sense, actually. In that case, I kind of don't blame them for, you know, kind of looking stupid. Let me get some of these armies back on the mainland. Having this many troops is certainly um, an experience. I don't know if it's one that I'm terribly enjoyable. Um, but yeah, they're starting with, like, have you even... They still haven't, for, you know, cored everything. They haven't fully cored anything at all. And Akasic is the same. But hey, I will help convert them religiously. Where is that rebellion? I don't even know. But yeah, I think leaving a um, an army here to deal with rebels, like this guy's already doing, and the rest can come home.
Probably a good idea. Duranic Amadia. Isn't this Amadia? No, this one is. Oh, okay. Did they split off from Durain? Apparently they did. Alright, whatever. Friendly is fine. Purple Alliance. So who am I leaving here? Carl Trout with a... Si no, we're not. We're not leaving Carl Trout. We'll leave fucking... I don't know. This guy. Yeah, you can deal with all of that, that's not a problem. It's going swimmingly. Anyway, let's start doing mission tree stuff again. Starting with this one. Uh, Ebifar, let's start building the Spy Network on you as well. Alright, do that, then we're going to go after the Counts League again. I feel like... I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just not a massive fan of late game E4. The The snowball is, is real in this game, and... Like, having 250k in the, in the bank is... I don't know, I, I don't know. Like, what, do I, what do I do with that money at the end of the day? Build all of the things. I can build everything like several times over, you know?
I suppose I didn't help myself by going Undead Army. Because me going under the army essentially made it so that all of the problems of the snowball kind of just got worse. Like, all of those 50k stacks, literally the only thing they're doing is stopping people joining a coalition. That That's it. Like, I still have 200k. After building all of those buildings, I'm still at 200k. Which, I don't know, I feel like... Is... Kind of, you know, excessive and not necessary. Maybe I'll turn as many of these into, like, proper army stacks, and then I'll just have army stacks, and, and these are just irrelevant. For the last rebellion debate, securing the need to convert as many people into the faith as to empower... Sorry, to empower God and ensure salvation for all. The second rebellion debate deals with the internal matters of the church, and how it should best achieve that. Heresy and willful ignorance is rife across the world, and they will not embrace the truth though debate an open mind, then they must be saved through force. A rebellion inquisition will allow our faith to spread like wildfire and save the ignorant from themselves. Inquisitors will also ensure that those that do not practice magic do so under the church's approval. For magic is a gift from God and must not be squandered in dark arts and unholy works. Yes. <laughs> If heathens and heretics refuse to hear our truth, then it is the failure of the church, not the fault of the unconvinced. False conversions will not help unlock heaven. We must keep public and cordial discourse with them at all times, and open our minds and learn from the versions of the truth. And perhaps one day we'll reach new revelations together. Okay then. Use me. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll find a new... Because, like, the, the thing at the moment is 34 combat width. And then maybe we'll just do, like... Oh, fuck it, I, I'll just go 80, 0, 40. And then every stack will be an 80, 0, 40. Without exception. All of the stacks will be that.
he's annoyed me the last time. Many in the Magister's state have come to us with their concerns with the rise of the rebellion faith in our country. But it is our, country, our state religion. For much of history, mages have been known to be a secular bunch, believing in the powers of the divine until now. Content of the faith is that magic is divine, was stolen by the elves from God. And as such, the mages of modern day society must be respectful of magic's divine nature and strive to use the powers to serve the whims of the people and the church. However... I have the Magisterium Estate, which is actually really good because it gives me my absolutism back. So, um, fuck you. Uh, we're, we're not doing this one. We're not having religious one. The Magisterium must remain. Because it's based. That's fuck. I got excommunicated. Well, shit, that lasts until the end of my life. Never mind, I'm good. You don't get to excommunicate me, motherfucker. I am the state! I bet this guy's like a billion percent to annex. 131. I might be able to do it. I might. Also, no, no, no. I can do it because I don't want any of this. We're going to be fine. Okay, new new stuff. Let's go skeletal line infantry. Don't really care about that. No, that that's fine. Ah, but these have stopped coring because I've I've got war with the bastard. I think I want to. Take what I... I only want the rest of Whistlevale from Luciande. I don't want any of this stuff. Unless there is, um... Monuments, and there is not, so fuck it.
Too slow. Alright, Ulair, we can peace out. I don't really want any of his land, so I'll just force religion on him. Or not, I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stick around in this war until he wants to accept the Lord and Savior, the cube. It, it, it sounds worse than it is, don't worry. Cubism is the one true faith. I will say, this is making me think that, uh, like, World Conquest, like, is totally doable in this mod. I mean, I know it's possible, like, freaking there's an achievement for doing it as Tellum, right? So, clearly, World Conquest possible. Um, it's, it's not something I really want to do, though. <laughs> But this is making it look, you know, super doable. Alright, accept Lord and Save Your Cube. That's it. It's not full annexation, but I could... <laughs> Release Nation, BPEC, could be very funny. Maybe he can form BPEC, that would be funny. A little bit overextended, you know, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Look, brother, I only want two of your provinces. Which is 50%, which is crazy, but you know, whatever. Yeah, maybe I should have some kind of expeditionary force down there. Maybe this prick can do it. You will soon not exist. We'll just wait here for a single tick, get the army back up to full-ish strength, and then, you know, we fight however many hundred thousand there is left. What is Nurse Steer's deal, anyway? They elven, they human, what are they? Escani, okay, fair enough. Ideas are kinda mid. Got morale in there, artillery combat ability in the admin and diplo skill on the rulers, it's not bad, but yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything like Super duper. You hear a faint de uh, developer sounding voice in the distance. It's not a cube. Uh, yeah, but however, it is a uh, religion. And as a religion, uh, frickin' uh, memes take precedence over, uh, you know, reality.
How do orcs get in the middle of my fucking country? It's crazy. I now have nationalism and imperialism, which is very good. Yeah, ideally we'll wait until a bunch of these are cored before we are, uh, you know, before we're piecing out to take the rest of Ibava. I wonder if they're still overextended. They still have quite a lot to core. Magistrate resigns, whatever. Second Rebellion debate is over. I think an update added a decision to release an Ibavari march. That's cool. things in here because I was rebellion. Nope. That's sad. Also, I can now re-add in that and that. I don't think that in box on my max absolute is, yeah. 110 is like the max anyway, right? Like it's not gonna actually affect me at all being over. Fucking blade matches in this war, I forgot about that. They don't really exist though. Oof, oof, that was rough for you. Oh, that did not last long. Well, that's you out of the war. Be funny if I managed to do something like steal your sexy blade or something, but I don't think that's possible. Come on. 
Can we have some cores made first? Oh, I'm, I'm not overextended. Let's go. Very nice. And that's almost not overextended as well, so I might as well peace out. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, my, my name on the map is going to look fucking sexy as hell. Alright, let's try it. Oh, look at that. Those borders, they are beautiful. Other than the shit that I have going into West Ham, but we don't look at that. We don't look at that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there. It's going to be a bit of a shorter stream uh, than uh, previously, uh, because I have shit going on. Um, I couldn't stream for quite as long this time, so apologies for that. Uh, I will be back, and I think we've got one more stream in us. Um, I don't know if we're going to finish the mission tree. Um, basically, conquer a bit of Gowed, conquer a bit more of Gowed. Uh, Dame's Crown doesn't exist. Shit, I have to go back over there again. That's fun. Uh, conquer more of Gowed. Conquer more of Gowed. Conquer more of Gowed. Conquer more of Gowed. Uh, by the way, you've conquered all of Gowed. Uh, yeah, this is kind of not really one. I don't care. I, I don't care. <laughs> um, but, you know. I think what we've done is is cool enough. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the stream. I will be back on Saturday with another uh, session of the uh, Fallout multiplayer. Um, I'm still really enjoying that, and um, hopefully you guys are too. I will hopefully see you um, see you on Saturday.